Hi everyone, welcome back to Sailor with Bella where I talk about the latest Asian drama, music, and shows. Today, this video is a little different because I want to talk about Wang Zhenyi. Wang Zhenyi, she is a very famous um, astronomer, mathematician, and poet. So you may never heard of her, I've never heard about her. Um, I came across a video um, that talks about her on Douyin and I have no how, I don't know who she is. So I was like, oh, okay, I want to check out this person. So Wang Zhenyi, she was born in 1768 during the Qing Dynasty. So her grandfather was the governor of Fengchen County and um, she, her grandfather has a collection of books and he taught her astronomy. And her grandmother, on the other hand, taught her poetry. Her dad, because she f he failed the imperial exam, he couldn't become a official. So he like learned like medicine and everything. And he taught her like medicine and geography and math. So she is a very, very awesome, like her family is really awesome to her. So her grandfather passed away in 1782 when she was 14 years old. And so they went to Jiling province, which is near the Great Wall. And they were there for about five years. During that time, um, she went and like look at all the books that her grandfather left. And at the time, she also learned um, archery, martial arts, and a lot of like horse riding from a Mongolian general's life. And um, so they stayed there for five years. And so her dad and her actually traveled to uh, Changjiang. And during that time, um, her travels actually influenced her poetry work. And she also made friends, like she became friends with a lot of female scholars as well. So when she was 18, she focused more on astronomy and math. And she got married when she was 25. By that time, she was already well known for her math, poetry, and astronomy. So. For astronomy, um, she actually wrote articles about it. For example, dispute of pro procession of the equinox, and um, she talked about the celestial like phenomena and like how it works and how to calculate it. And she also wrote an article called the explanation of a lunar eclipse and another one called the explanation of the solar eclipse. And she did an experiment. Um, she used the uh, round table from the garden as, you know, the earth. And then she used the lamp as the sun. And she used a mirror for the moon to represent all these things. And she did this experiment to prove how they accurately, like, using, like, um, astronomical, <laughs> astronomical, astronomical? Like, those astronomy, like, principles to prove, like, how they move. Um, and also she could sort of accurately tell like there like how many stars there are. For the math part, she wrote an article called the Pythagorean Theorem and Trigonometry. Um, and she wrote, we wrote a book that was actually published by uh, Mei Wen Ding, which is called Principles of Calculation. Um, she rewrote the book because his book, this person's book was more advanced for people. Um, so she rewrote it and called the must of calculations and she simplified the book so everyone else had access to like um, the book and they could learn about like multiplication and division from that book so that's what she did so her poetry um, she doesn't really use like flowery words in I guess like flowery words or characters in her poetry which I guess like at the time that might have like signified that the writer was a female writer for the you know the poetry and um her travels with her dad really influenced like her work at that time and she really focuses on like females like lives um and like the hardships that she saw when she was like traveling and sort of like the difference between like different class. So when she was 25, she was already like famous, well known for poetry, math, and astronomy. By the time she was 29, she knew that she was not going to live that long. So she gave like her like work and her manuscripts to her close friend and her close friend gave it to her nephew, which um, I guess like published like the rest of her work. Um, and there are things that like Wang Zhenyi said, apparently, 
about like how like when people think of like science and everything people don't think of like female like you know people would think of men who are like expert at it but they don't think that a female could also do that as well and she also felt that you know education everything everyone should be educated no matter if you are female or male so that was like sort of like her thoughts i'm paraphrasing what she said along those lines and i was like whoa she like is an amazing person. So how is Wang Zhengyi remembered in the West? So for Venus and the crater that is over 20 kilometers in diameters, they get to uh, name the crater after a female, um, you know, who like contributes in their field. And so in 1997, the International Astronomical Union Working Group for Planetary System um, Nomadicultural, <laughs> I don't know, pronounce that last name. Um, they named the crater after her, so that's how she is remembered. Um, so yeah, and when I actually googled and learned about her, I was just like, she is smart, she is amazing, she has so many values at the time, and I was like, wow, I was just like, I just didn't know that someone like her, you know, exists period and I was just like amazed by just like reading like what she done what she learned and like everything like things that she sort of did in her own way and I was just like wow I, I think she's an amazing person I feel like people should know about her so that's why I'm doing a video about her um I am no way an expert in like about her or anything it is simply because I wanted to talk about her so people know more about her um she sounds like an amazing person and I hope y'all just, you know, know who she is. So anyways, let me know if you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And um, you can also subscribe to my channel if you want to. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Bye.